So a few weeks ago, the challenge was in being able to take a photo that you submitted to us and model that to 360 in full color uh, in a quick solution that was cost effective. That's key because converting a photo to 360 with textures, you know, is standard in the industry, but keeping it quick and cost effective is the key. So this here is a photo uh, that we received and thank you to all of you for sending photos. But um, the photo that we selected was really um, a photo that had color to it. So you can see like a nice green dress here, um, a green with a pattern tie. Um, a lot of the photos that we got from you were, you know, white shirts um, or black pants. And that kind of makes boring for a color print. Also, some of the photos we got of kids were with extremities. So hands sticking out and um, that too uh, could cause breakage in the final print when we're shipping it. So uh, to keep it real, this here was the ideal uh, photo and this is what we use. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. So this here is Cockpit 3D and um, <clears throat> this here is the model. It's a, it is a 3D model. I'll show it to you from the side. It doesn't look like it. It looks very flat, but this has actually been modeled to 3D. So let me explain that to you. Uh, on this model, what we've done is we've taken a look at very various different points on the face the forehead the cheeks the nose uh, even the teeth the chin the neck uh, along the 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 chest uh, and down to the feet we've modeled it but we've also used our imagination to take a look at what we perceive to be behind that the camera cannot see so for example his arm this arm here appears to be going behind her and the hand appears here and in her case, her arm uh, is behind him and either reaching up onto his shoulder or probably actually also coming around the back as well. Because if it was on top of the shoulder, we might have seen uh, some more fingers here. So we modeled it with her hand around the back as well. So when you look at it and when we actually uh, utilize this icon here to show the 3D. And there you go. A little difficult to see but you might be able to make out her arm around the back and then his arm around uh, around her waist uh, over here so step one was doing the sculpting taking like a ball of clay uh, but in the digital world and sculpting it uh, which was achieved that's the white part that you see then the second part was applying texture so taking that JPEG image uh, that they provided and um, applying it to the model, which you see we've done here quite well from the front, but of course the camera can't see the back and so that leads to step number two is, again, in a very quick, cost-effective way, um, painting the back, coloring the back, and applying texture to the back so that um, it can be a completed 360 model. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we go, this is the finished model, and when we turn it, There you go. Cool, eh? <laughs> so um, that's what we've got so far. And uh, I'm very excited about it. I mean, you know, what is being achieved here is quite remarkable. And um, step three is to now send this to a 3D printer. Uh, my only concern with this image, if I zoom in, is you'll notice, for example, it's not super sharp. It's not high resolution. So there is some pixelation on the eyes, even on his. But you know what? I selected this image because of that. Because, you know, when we're going to be rolling this out to many of you um, in your stores, um, for resellers of ours, or uh, when we're selling this to the consumer, um, a lot of the photos that are going to be submitted by uh, the end customer are going to be photos off of Facebook or not the highest of resolution images. We could have taken like a, a high res, super clear image and produced a fantastic looking figurine, but that wouldn't be keeping it real. We wanted to, uh, you know, use something that would be more common. Uh, and so we're gonna send this to a printer. Now printers don't print in uh, the 3D, current 3D color printers, uh, at least the mainstream ones, don't print uh, in the highest of resolution. So it's kind of like taking um, a, a photocopy of a bad photocopy and it turns out even worse right so um, I think that this here is an average 
quality photo that we would accept uh, or receive from a customer. We'll send that to a color printer. Um, we'll get that print back and we'll show it to you and we'll see how it comes out. And hopefully we'll be at a stage where we can then start um, offering this uh, to many of you um, to submit photos and have some really awesome 3D figurines made from them. Incredible.